Hey what's up guys it's me Sunil Sharma and you're watching Tiki's Room. I'm here with another new video on how can you transfer your domain from small Yahoo business to any other registrar. For this video I'm transferring my domain from small Yahoo business to porkbond.com. First of all before transferring our domain to any other registrar we have to check some essential information about the registrar where we are going to transferring our domain as i also have some other domains in procon.com for this time i'm just only checking its renewal and transfer charge before transferring this domain i want to make my personal details same on both of these registrars it is not necessary to have same information on both of these registrars you can also transfer a domain from an account which have entirely different personal details. Now our next step will be unlocking our domain. To unlock your domain you can find an locking option on your registrar dashboard. I have already unlocked my domain so we should go to our next step. Other important points that we have to know while transferring our domain are Domain is not using who is privacy protection if the service does not forward emails. It means that who is privacy protection will not be used further if you have not activated any email forwarding services on your previous registrar. For this what can you do is delete your email forwarding from the previous registrar and set up same email forwarding in your new registrar. Secondly, domain has been registered for at least 60 days. That means the age of your domain must be at least 60 days. Domain has been with current registrar for at least 60 days. It means that if you had already transferred your domain from any other registrar, then you have to wait at least 60 days to transfer again your domain to any other registrar. As my domain is one year old and this is my first transfer to any other registrar, so I am completely eligible to transfer my domain. Now our next step will be transferring our domain. Type the domain name which you are going to transfer and get authorization code from your other registrar. You will get authorization code on the dashboard of your domain. Copy this code and paste it on the authorization code and click on submit. After clicking on submit you will see some another options. I will turn on my who is privacy myself and I don't want to enable automatic renewal. So I am choosing both of these options and now adding this domain to my cart. I wanted to use a promo code which was available for domain transfer but that promo code was not working. So I mailed to customer care asking why this promo code is not working for me as I am transferring my domain for the first time. They replied me next day and I found this promo code will only available for new user account. And next day they updated their transfer charge to $9.13 and now I have to pay $9.13 for domain transfer which was previously available on $8.58. I think that promo code idea was expensive for me. Now I will take it to billing. After billing you will get an email from your previous registrar to accept domain transfer. When you accept your domain transfer then your domain will completely transferred to your current registrar. I got that confirmation mail after 3 hours of payment. You will get your confirmation mail after some hours or it may take 1 or 2 days. I hope now you can transfer your domain successfully from any other registrar because domain transfer process is same on almost all registrars. If this video is useful for you then please like this video and subscribe my channel because this YouTube analytics is making me very sad. Now this much for today hope I will see you in another video.